Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're at the Newark Showground and we're here for the Winter Classic Bike Show 2023. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. So, right, so yeah, this is January 2023. This is the Winter Classic and uh, it's, there's a series of indoor and outdoor stuff. So we're gonna go pop into Hall 1 over here and go check out some of these bikes. So as soon as we walk into this first hall, we're presented with this AJS 1960-500cc and the Triumph Daytona 1968, also 500cc. So when you walk around these classic bike shows, you do see plenty of bikes up for sale. On this stand, they're all up for sale. I mean, just check out some of these bikes. This kid's Suzuki GSX-R 1986-50cc bike was up for sale. At a pretty penny, six thousand pounds. And what about this Ducati Dharma SD900, 1980, up for sale for sixteen thousand pounds? I mean, look at the size of this exhaust and this Honda SS50. So all the bikes in this section are prize winners, and they've all won in different categories. This Triumph Trophy 650 is absolutely immaculate. So this is the winner for the best restoration, it's the Yamaha HS1 1969 90cc. You certainly won't want to put this one through the dirt. It's a Greaves 246cc 1965 Scrambler. This stand was one of my favourites. Check out this Italian lineup. This Ducati 98cc would deserve a place in my lounge. It's a 1955 iconic cafe racer. So this bike won best in show, I'm not surprised, it's an absolute beautiful bike. It's the MV Augusta Electronica 1973 350S. I see all the kids riding around on electric scooters these days, imagine riding around on this in 1951, how cool. So we were speaking to the owner of this Sunbeam bike for a while and the guy's done some serious tours and mileage on it, including the North Coast 500 in Scotland. So this one's from my era, it's the Yamaha FZ600 1988, absolutely fully restored to mint condition. And so is this Honda CB200 from 1974. A 
I always liked seeing the RD350s. I passed my test on one of these when I was 21, many moons ago. Sold the bike for 450 pounds. What would it be worth now? So this Husqvarna 400's got some history to go with it. Built and rode by Steve McQueen. This one's up for sale for £15,000. So check out this RD 1980. It's got some right trick bits on it, including custom built wheels. And I'm loving that exhaust. So this G3L motorcycle, so 350cc, uh, 1942, was part of the 21st Army Group serving in France and Belgium between 1942 and 1946. Got a 1958 Norton Dominator, also up for sale, £7,500. Another one of my favourite stands is the BSA stand. Everything looks nice and shiny, but check out this 2023 edition on the front there. Nice to see him back in business. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Do you like the new ones? I think this little fella's still undecided. So here's a little indicator of what else you can find at the show. got to say the food on this bakery stand was fantastic yes i did have one of them sausage rolls and uh, diet starts again tomorrow right yeah so it's really starting to fill up in there now there's some fantastic bikes uh, the weather's looking better today this has been a weekend event uh, yesterday was absolutely chucking down today's a little bit cold but it is january um, so we're going to go check out some of the other stuff over here So the next bit we walked through was this sizable tent, bit of everything, everything motorbike related in there, uh, plenty of tools, you can never have enough tools guys. So we've got another hall just over here so let's go check out and see what's in there. So inside this other building you can also get a little bit of everything, something there for everybody. Did I mention you can get tools?
And here's a nice little collection of the Suzuki Bandits. Check out this Vespa 250cc, 55 brake horsepower. Certainly got a few achievements there. Uh, I think at the standing start of a quarter of a mile, it's at 190 miles an hour. So I've never actually seen a Triumph Hurricane in the flesh and here I've seen four of them. This is the Triumph X75 Hurricane. It was a factory special motorcycle designed by the fairing specialist Craig Vetter. The 75 had the swooping fiberglass bodywork, lower gearing, distinctive triple exhaust on the right hand side. The motorbike is credited with creating a new class of the motorcycle cruiser. It was ultimately released as a Triumph model in 1973 as the BSA factory closed its doors in 1972. And it wouldn't be a classic bike show without James Whitten and Carl Fogarty there. So here's a bit of a beast of a bike, it's the Yamaha 1979 XS 1100 Martini. Only 500 made worldwide and they reckon there's only 15 left to today in the UK. So this was an interesting company, they do a selection of old looking gas pumps that they've uh, converted one into a toolbox and uh, the other is an uh, electric car charger. This was another interesting stand. This is the drag racers. It's not for the faint hearted. I got talking to Graham Sykes who rides this rocket of a dragster of achievable speeds of up to 200 miles an hour. And this thing runs on water. So this rocket of a bike uses superheated pressurized water released through nozzles where it turns steam and creates the thrust to propel the bike forward. Check out this little drag bike, 50 cc two stroke, ridden by little Alfie, age nine, and a top speed of 54 miles an hour. And here we have the Honda Britain RC45 1998, built for Michael Rutter in 1998 by Honda Britain. Michael had many wins on the road and the BSB. 
So I hope you've enjoyed our little walk around the Winter Classic Bike Show 2023. We've had a fantastic day. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Give us a like and we'll see you in the next one.